Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. It says write the following sum in scientific e notation. That means we're adding. There's a negative sign here, so we can think of that as adding a negative, but ultimately we can add these numbers. Which numbers? Well, each number is grouped by multiplication. So really these three numbers here, we're adding them. Uh, to add them, we want to have the powers of 10 be equal. And that will make this problem a lot easier. So I'm going to um, change the 30th power and the 28th power to match the 31st power. I want those equal. I can choose other combinations. You can choose really whatever you want. Uh, but here, that's the root I'm going to take. So 10 to the 30th, 30 times 10 to the 30th. I want that to say something times 10 to the 31st. So in order to, to do that, I have to think, oh, well, look at that. We went up uh, by 1 in our exponent, which means we multiplied by 10. Right? 30 tens, tens, excuse me, times another 10 is 31 tens. But you want to maintain equivalence and keep this number the same. You can't just make it 10 times large like that. So you bring it back, you divide it by 10, and 30 becomes 3. So now we can start adding. I'm going to group these numbers together first. We have 3.1415 times 10 to the 31st plus 3 times 10 to the 31st. So we're adding in terms of 10 to the 31st. That just means we can add this number and this number directly. And that's 6.1415 times 10 to the 31st. A lot of students have a hard time thinking, well, why don't we add 10 to the 31st? What happened there? Remember, those are just place values as an essence. They tell us where we're at. What do I, what do I mean? Well, let's say you had 3 times 10 to the 2nd plus 2 times 10 to the 2nd. Well, that would be, you add these two numbers, 3 plus 2 is 5, you leave 10 to the second alone, and that's your answer. Why? Well, because 3 times 10 squared is 3 hundredths, plus 2 times 10 squared is 2 hundredths, altogether, that makes what? Well, 3 hundredths and 2 hundredths, that's 5 hundredths. Notice I'm saying 3 hundredths and 2 hundredths is 5 hundredths. That's exactly what's written here in scientific notation. We're just solving the answer in terms of the powers of 10. And the same thing's true here, even though it's much harder to see. Now we have got to subtract from this 6.1415 times 10 to the 31st. We've got to subtract 30 times 10 to the 28th from it. So back to the drawing board, right? Let's go take 30 times 10 to the 28th. I want it to say 10 to the 31st. So to do that, let me have to multiply by 1,000 or 3 powers of 10. And here you have to divide by 1,000, right? Or remove, essentially, three powers of 10. So that becomes, well, when you divide the decimals here, and you divide one, two, three times, that means your decimal moves left, to 0 0.03 times 10 to the 31st. Okay, so we're subtracting that from 6.1415 times 10 to the 31st. And I'll write it over here so we can see it all together. 6.1415 times 10 to the 31st minus 0 0.03 times 10 to the 31st, and this works out nicely, right? We're subtracting in terms of 10 to the 31st, so that stays there. 5 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 5, 1, 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 minus 0 is 1, and 6 minus 0 is 6, there's our answer. 6.1115 times 10 to the 31st, 